What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another video. Let's see who's on Insta today then. Anybody want to send in some questions and ask me absolutely anything? So this is brand interview part one. When and why did I start playing music? Well, I started when I was six years old and it was after watching Cream play Live at the Roll Out Hall on a DVD and it was watching Ginger Baker 15 minute drum solo best thing I've ever seen in the world and that was my inspiration. Which musical instruments do I currently play? Well, as a Everybody who knows me knows that I am a drummer and yes, I have my drum kit over there. As you guys can see over there. Which famous musicians do I admire and why? Uh, I'd have to say Ginger Baker, Phil Collins, guys like that who just write in incredible music, incredible songs, they're just awesome. One of my fondest musical memories in the name of town. Uh, best moment I can think of was in Virovision 2011. Was performing as part of a band, and when they announced my name before I went on stage, that uh, we were playing in front of probably 200 people. And, that was absolutely <clears throat> insane. Well, my favourite musicians, groups and what albums do I personally own? Uh, <laughs> favourite musicians are Shine Down, Godsmack, Nickelback. Uh, albums I personally own. I've got all the the Nickelback albums, I got Daltrey albums, uh, I got Godsmack album, my current favourite album of all time has to be uh, Attention Attention by Shinedown, that is a really good album. Do I get nervous before a performance? Eh, you know, from, it differs from time to time, depending on venue and location, how you feel on the day before the event. <laughs> and basically you just go through the routine of doing it all. What advice would I give to beginners who are nervous? Basically, if it's your first time, Yes, you are going to be nervous, but just try and stay calm, be focused. The thing is, like, this is what you have to do for to get through the night and just focus on it as, like, a job, basically. Do I teach music as a paid job? Currently, no. I have considered the option. It might be something I look into in the near future, maybe. What well, my plans for the future? Obviously, doing more vlogs for my YouTube channel. But is new music coming? I can promise that. 
Um, we've got mer merchandise coming out as well. Probably more travelling. What are my musical influences? Uh, some, any influences? Uh, pretty much like heavy rock bands like Nickelback, Evanescence, Shine Down. Any songs that have got a good rhythm and a good melody that I can really get into and enjoy. What new music am I working on right now? Um, well, this new album that I've got that I'm working on at the moment is a lot more personal. It's got a lot of mixed emotions in it that is based on the past couple of years where I've been involved in online or offline relationships and the whole situation with that. Do I want to travel to other countries to perform? Absolutely, I do. Obviously, if this new album goes well, there's going to be a UK tour. We've got the Welcome to History tour that's coming up as well. Uh, USA tour. Then, probably five, six years down the line, we've got the Global World tour that's coming up. Can I briefly describe my music process? Uh, it depends, really, because with my musical process, the, when I'm in the studio, I'm basically writing what comes into my head, and then I'll try and fit different things into my songs in terms of the writing, and then it can be based on feelings of that day, or if I'm in a relationship that it can just depend on whatever feelings and emotions I've got at that time. Uh. What advice do I have for Pillar 1 and Formula 1 bands? Uh, basically, You've got your own thing, and basically find people who have the same vision and process that you have, and if you mix well together and there's just that chemistry level, that that is going to be really, really important. Uh, how can fans gain access to my music? Do I have a website or a demo CD? Uh, no, I don't have a website. If you want to hear my mu music, you can look at it on my YouTube channel, go on my SoundCloud. It's all the same brand name, so just go ahead and do that. If you like this video and all the other videos, just click down to subscribe, give this a massive thumbs up, and just do whatever you feel like. How do I explain my creative process? Uh, my creative process is basically I have an idea, I write it down, I play with it sometimes to see what fits well and I just go with it. But I, whatever is in my mind I just write it down you know. Is there a hidden meaning in any of my music? Uh, not really, it just depends on how I feel and if I feel like writing a song about whatever I'm feeling at that time really. But if there's a hidden meaning in, in my music it is basically just be creative, go out there, have fun and yeah just enjoy yourself as much as you can. What's my favourite part about this line of work? Uh, favourite part is obviously being back in the studio writing the songs for the album 
and most importantly is meeting the fans and just having a good time and having fun you know what I mean least favorite part is uh, when you get a lot of hate and abusive comments on your YouTube videos or people criticize your performances or they criticize your music and that does weigh on my mind from time to time. Uh, favorite performance venues? Uh, oh, that's a <laughs> difficult question. Uh, I've played a few gigs in college, played <clears throat> three Christmas gigs with my last band, and they were all really good. Uh, Madison Squid Garden, when I visited that on the All Access tour, the I was sitting inside the arena and I was singing this is what I want to, want to do for the rest of my life and after seeing Nickelback perform live for three times in the past few years that it just reminds me how much I love this job and this is what I'm doing for the rest of my goddamn life uh, What in inspired this new album that I'm working on uh, this new album is basically it's my own creation. It's personal. It's mixed emotions. It's a lot different from the last album, which was a lot of instrumental music. Whereas this is a lot more focused on me as a person and my own feelings. Uh, what's next? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. I'll just go at it ten, day by day and see how I feel, you know. Is there anyone I'd like to acknowledge for offering financial or emotional support? Uh, you know, my fans are the best in the world. They really support me in this. Uh, emotional and support is uh, my family and a lot of my friends that have had my back for many many years uh, what's an average day like for me? well an average day is Basically, I get up, get myself ready, have some food, go to the studio, work on the album for probably three, four hours every day, just mixing, mastering, just follow that creative process along the way. Yeah. Uh, Basically, what inspired this, the, the album name, uh, what inspired the album name was basically that I was feeling down and depressed at that time and the album title is called Broken because it's very personal and mixed emotions. Uh, a lot of the song names at the moment are still being worked on if you want to know more you can message, message me on instagram and follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud youtube facebook i'm on every single platform there is uh, any last words uh i don't think so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time